Hey creeps and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron and I have a new Goosebumps collection video for you today. I haven't done one of these in a while but it has been very much requested on pretty much every video I've been posting. Uh, people have been asking me to do more Goosebumps collection videos and I'm back for more. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who supported me on my last video. It was a book unhaul and I was selling a lot of the books I was getting rid of. Um, a lot of you bought books from me, which was really cool. I was able to save up about 120 to 150 dollars to put toward my new laptop, uh, so that way I can keep doing this YouTube channel because without a new laptop, it's not going to happen. I do have about three boxes worth of books left, so I have quite a bit left over. Uh, if anybody still wants to buy anything, I'm going to pin a comment to my book unhaul video. Uh, just listing all of the books that I have left over. That way, if you still want to buy anything, you can go and look at that list and see what's left over. But to those who did buy books from me, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I was able to send out about 15 packages, and I still have a few packages that I need to send out. So if you don't get your book in the next week or so, just know it is coming, I promise. All right, and now on to Goosebumps. In this video, I'm going to be showing all of the kind of random miscellaneous Goosebump books that I have in my collection. Uh, just books that didn't really need a full video, so I just compiled it all into this one. So I'm going to show you all of those after the commercial break. Can you identify who it was that frightened you? I'll try. This Halloween, terrifying creatures are on the loose at Taco Bell. It's Taco Bell, Slappy's Candy Keeper, Cuddles the Horrible Hamster, Rapid Mummy, and Skullmobile. Get them now. Goosebumps Collectibles, only at Taco Bell. All right, let's get into the random Goosebump books that I have. This one here is called Goosebumps Live on Stage, a special limited edition, Screams in the Night. This is based off of the Goosebumps Live on Stage um, play that they put out in 1998, I believe. Um, it was a very limited run. Uh, they didn't really do the play for very long. I remember seeing uh, video promos of it and I really wanted to go, but it was in New York or wherever and I, uh, of course, couldn't, couldn't go there. So that was a shame. But uh, anyway, here's the book. Uh, this was released just when the play was. Um, it's pretty hard to find this, especially in such new condition like this is in. And this also has some good... Uh, illustrations throughout. Let's see if I can find one. There's one right there. Very, very nice. So I'm glad to have a nice copy of this book. Here we have the Goosebumps triple header books. This is triple header one and triple header two. These are basically just uh, short story anthologies. There's like three different short stories in each of these. And here I have the Goosebumps monster editions. I believe I showed this one in another video that I just recently got these two. Uh, so the first one here monster edition number one it used to scream when you opened it but i brought it to school one day when i was a kid and some kid broke it so that sucked uh, but this one binds up three books of the goosebump series this has stay out of the basement welcome to dead house and say cheese and die and this one right here is monster edition number two if you hit slappy's mouth here his eyes light up just like that which is pretty cool and this binds up all three of the original Night of the Living Dummy books. And then here we have Monster Edition number three. I love the cover on this one with the graveyard. It's very, very cool. Old school goosebumps. And uh, this one has uh, the ghost next door, ghost beach, and the barking ghost. This one is the Goosebumps official collector's caps book with 16 completely cool caps and a heavy duty Goosebumps slammer. I found this at a yard sale once and uh, of course it doesn't have the caps with it, but still thought it was interesting. Next, I have some books from the Tales to give you Goosebumps. I have special edition number four, uh, 10 spooky stories. It's just a, a collection of Goosebumps short stories. And then here is more and more and more tales to give you Goosebumps, book number six. It also has 10 stories in there. And over here, I have more and more tales to give you Goosebumps. This is book number five. Um, this is sealed with the uh, baseball cap inside. And it's uh, shaped like a gravestone there, which is pretty cool. And then this is 30 Tales to Give You Goosebumps. And this is basically just a hardcover bind up of the first three Tales to Give You Goosebumps books. So it's cool to have 
the books in hardcover like this. And then here is the Goosebumps Presents series. Now I don't have all of these, but I do have a good portion of them. Uh, these were all published during the TV show's run on uh, Fox Kids, and they were just novelizations of the TV episodes. So they have pictures from the show and everything. So I'm gonna go through these. The first one here is The Girl Who Cried Monster. And each of them have pictures from the show in the middle. That guy there was probably one of my favorite monsters as a kid. Here is The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Return of the Mummy. Night of the Living Dummy 2. And as you can see, they had a cover change here. This is my hairiest adventure. It still has the, the full color pages on the inside. The Headless Ghost. Be careful what you wish for. Bad Hair Day. Attack of the Mutant. You Can't Scare Me. Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Calling All Creeps. And Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, which is the final book. Here I have two books in the Goosebumps graphics series. There were three of these total. I only have two, uh, but they're basically just uh, graphic novel adaptions of the books. They have a bunch of different art styles inside, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one right here has uh, The Werewolf of Fever Swamp, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, and The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. And this one here has Deep Trouble, One Day at Horrorland, and Shocker on Shock Street. Here I have a tiny little Goosebumps mini book. Um, this one is called Don't Make Me Laugh. And this was published in a box of three different books. It was part of a like Hershey's promotional thing. Um, I don't have the other two books and I don't have the box that it goes in. This is all I have, um, but I would really love to find a complete set of these sometime. And then here is a little slappy Goosebumps notepad. I got this when the first two uh, Goosebumps Horrorland books were published. This was just a freebie that came along with them. And then here is the Goosebumps postcard book. It's not in the best shape. They're kind of falling out a little bit, but it just has a bunch of Goosebumps postcards inside. Here I have the Goosebumps movie novel. It's just a novelization of the new movie that came out recently, as well as the Goosebumps Monster Survival Guide, which was also released uh, when the new movie came out. And it's basically just pictures from the movie and how to survive all of the monsters and such. And then the final two books I have here are not exactly Goosebumps books. These are called Goofflumps, and they were parodies of Goosebumps. So here we have Stay Out of the Bathroom, which is a parody of Stay Out of the Basement. Uh, <laughs> these are pretty dumb looking. Uh, it says, warning, not a Goosebumps book. This spoof is just a goof. And then here it says, buy two, that's it. That one's actually pretty funny. Because as you know, there are a lot of Goosebump books. So you just buy two, you don't have to buy a bunch of them. Uh, right here is uh, Goofflumps, Eat Cheese and Barf, which is a parody of Say Cheese and Die. So yeah, that is Goofflumps right there. And those are all of the random Goosebump books that I have in my collection. So let's go on to a commercial break. New on video, welcome to Dead House, where the dead won't stay dead. I saw someone! Freaking me out, Amanda. From the pages of Goosebumps, R.L. Stein's best-selling books for kids, comes an all-new fun and spooky video for you to watch again and again. <gasps> welcome to Dead House. They're coming! Run! It's so creepy, it'll make your head spin. You can get a free spooky glow-in-the-dark window decal inside each video. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. In the next Goosebumps collection video, I will be going over all of the books that I have in the Goosebumps Horrorland, Hall of Horrors, Most Wanted, and Slappy World series. Those are all of the newer Goosebump books that have been coming out over the past five or six years or so. But until then, you can look down below in the graveyard for all of my social media links. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram now, which is new. I just recently made an Instagram. So if you wanna follow me there, links down below. Uh, you can also follow me on Pinterest and all that good stuff. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.